Hi YouTube, Coin Picker here. This is my collection of Chinese boat, or some people would say shoe, saisi, silver ingots. And they were produced about the mid 1800s to the late 1800s. And first of all, this is my 10 tail, or you could say 10 Chinese ounce piece. Back then a Chinese ounce was about 36 to 38 grams. So it's approximately 12 troy ounces. So you see on the left hand mark, that is the uh, silver smith's mark. And the right hand side just says um, pure silver. And then we have two five tail sized Saisi. On the right hand side the marking says um, made in Guangdong province and then when I flip it around now look at the right side again it says um, Guangxu Yuan Bao so basically um, the circulating treasure of uh, the second to last emperor of the Qing Dynasty, which is about 1875 to 1908. These marks uh, are spurious. Uh, the Saisi itself is real, but um, during the 70s, I, I believe in Southeast Asia, um, some enterprising, I guess, antiques dealer um, marked a lot of Saisi in order to charge more money to collectors. This is probably one of those examples. Now you do see um, the, uh, some typically Asian test marks where they actually take a chunk of the silver out just to see the um, center of it, which this is probably done um, um, long time ago and here's some scratch marks another type of testing here here's another one again when when they um, stamp it with the uh, place of manufacture or the um, the dynasty uh, typically, those are not real marks. Most of the time, they would have marks of, you know, who was the silversmith or the name of the silversmith company or uh, just marking to state that, you know, it's pure silver, or good silver. See, the bottom is a little bit flattened because it's when they hammered the marks when the um, silver was semi-molten. See, the, when the uh, silver cools, just like uh, those old poured uh, silver ingots, like Western ingots, you'll see the ripple effect from the surface of the silver when it cools down. And then here you get um, two tail sizes. Now you have the double happiness symbol, Chinese symbol in the middle of this one. Typically, they do that um, when they use it as presentation pieces or as gifts. And this one has no inscription, so purely of a commercial use nature. This one has quite a bit of characters on it. Um, the ones in the circles from right to left basically means Great Qing or Great Qing Dynasty, you know, the ruling um, reigning emperor or, or family of emperors. And then you have some other characters. These are stylistic characters for, uh, I believe, uh, happiness. And then we have the uh, one tail sizes. And usually the smaller ones were 
made for um, ceremonial or presentation use, basically gifts. We have here double happiness symbol. Now, this rough surface, basically a lot of uh, craters, uh, this is what you post to see on a, one of these older Chinese silver ingots because uh, they were cast in iron molds. So when they poured the silver in there, um, air bubbles, air was trapped underneath. Now, if they don't have these, then you have to wonder if it's real or not. This one, you have the symbol for longevity. So this is, this one's probably a gift for like a birthday gift. Double happiness, I would say um, a marriage gift. Again, another longevity ingot. And this one is another word for happiness. And then here we have some ingots that are turn of the century, probably made by jewelers as opposed to um, silversmiths. Here again, we have double happiness, but it's highly polished, and these are less than a tail each, so about 22 grams. This one, again, it's another word for happiness. And this one, I think it's longevity. Now, this is an inter interesting piece. Uh, it is a one tail piece, but it is made right at the end of World War II. So basically, um, there's some lucky um, symbols on here, basically saying, um, you know, may treasures enter your home. On the top, we have the silversmith's name, or the company name. Um, the two characters in circles basically means happiness, and um, yeah, basically happiness. And then on the bottom says pure silver. Now, what's interesting, they also mark the bottom, basically saying one ounce, one Chinese ounce. Again, the silversmith's name, or the company name, Pure Silver, and then the actual silversmith himself on the bottom. And then, these two, I think they were made uh, um, later on as well. It says, again, double happiness. But, it's either silver plated or very low grade of silver because we do see some um, corrosion. See that green? And these are hollow. So I would assume they are presentation pieces, uh, gifts, but on the lower end of things. Maybe even, even a funeral um, money for the dead, I, I'm not too sure. But then again, you wouldn't have double happiness, I suppose, on the, the face of it. And then I have these two interesting pieces. Um, this is a very tiny, tiny boat or sice money. I mean, it only weighs probably like three, four grams at most. No symbols on it, so purely of um, a, a commercial use. Tiny little thing. And then this one is also a presentation piece, but it's actually a gold one. And I'm assuming it's hollow because it's quite light. But no other symbols on it.
these are my boat size C collection. I hope you enjoyed it. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Coin picker out.